weekly video so we are in a different background because if you are following the vlog you will know I am currently reorganizing my office and um, it, let's say it's slightly messy um, I just came back from um, a lovely day out where I went to see Sister Act the musical for my birthday it's not my birthday but I got that as a birthday present in May and the show was today and it was amazing and I came home to post like to a note in my letterbox saying that they had left a um, package outside in my safe place which is my playhouse and they thought hold on this is not very safe because it's covered in slugs and spiders and it's very damp and turned out they had just thrown my little box over the fence hoping to aim for the entrance of the playhouse which did not happen so the cardboard around it was completely soaked because it's been raining and the grass was really wet luckily the box seems intact <laughs> so fingers crossed um before i show you the box which is as you can see called the good night box and it looks absolutely amazing um i'm just going to show you something else that was um in the box this month this is what they do every year it's if you want to give uh, as a gift for christmas the um, a little box to somebody you can order it and there's like a little uh, note to say like they're going to be getting more of them and all that all that kind of things um <coughs> i will just share with you um the a code that you can use if you want to give that if you go on mylittlebox.co.uk and use the co the code mary box uh the first box is 11 pounds instead of 14.95 so there you go um, not very interesting apart from that. It's not, not something you want to do. So we have this box is definitely I'm definitely gonna keep it I've been sorting through my boxes. I had kept every single one for the past two years and they started in September 2014 and I've, I've kept every single box since and I felt like it was about time I was parting with some of them But this one I am keeping I love it. I'm actually thinking of putting it in my um, bedside table to put things I keep like hand cream and foot cream and things I keep on my bedside table so as usual I have stuck the sticker that was in the cardboard box it was actually all like this and it says to the moon and back and when you open it this is how what it looks like so the first thing is a card <coughs> Ooh. oh it's in French uh, je ne veux pas dormir, je ne veux que rêver. It means uh, I don't want to sleep, I only want to dream. And um, at the back, good night. Um, it's, it is high time we relit the stars, wrote the French poet Guillaume Apollinaire in, seven, uh, in 1917. Here in Paris, nearly a century later, we could not agree more. Try as it might, the night sky just can't complete with all of the city compete, sorry, with all of the city's glowing street lamps, illuminated monuments and shimmering hourly light shows. We are looking at you, Eiffel Tower. But even in the city of lights, night is a time for us to rest and recharge, to sleep. As a certain English playwright once wrote, per chance to dream. Never heard that before. So pull on your comfiest PJs, dim the lights and join my little box. I would say bon nuit to real life and drift off to the land of dreams. Here, anything is possible. Lights out, dear, dear, dear subscribers. I cannot speak. Um, it's time to say good night, and this is kind of appropriate right now for me. I'm feeling really tired right now. Um, oh, I'm excited to see what's in there. So, as usual, we have the Little World magazine. I am not going to look into it because I don't want to spoil myself the surprise. But um, next thing we oh my god what is all this so the next thing we have is this which from the shape i mean you can guess what it is so we have a sticker saying sweet dreams and <coughs> let's see I really like the paper i think some kind of like thick band paper with like speckled with um like almost like paints splattered on it oh this is soft uh, it's an eye mask, which I have never used an eye mask in my life. I feel like in movies they use those a lot. Um, so one side, the front is like this. And the thing it says to the moon and back. And I have a very small head because I have a very flat head at the back. So it's like a part of my skull is missing compared to normal people. And as it's a bit loose on me, so you could really 
Do you know? How do I look? I can't see myself, but let's keep that on. Because that looks so cool for that video. What do you think? Can I pull that off as a hair accessory? Anyway, I'm very intrigued by this. So, oh, this is really good. Give your jewelry a place to get cozy. And it's like, um, what do you call this? To know it's a thing you can put on your bedside table. Oh, wow. This is so pretty. So it's like a um, moon. It's designed by Kanako and it's like a pottery thing almost. It's something to put like your jewelry at night time. And every time I wear earrings, my bedside table has a little drawer. And I end up throwing all my earrings in there. And then when I need to look for my earrings, I always go in there first because that's usually where they end up. So this will be perfect. This is so pretty. I really like that. And it's very unusual too. Like it's not the standard thing you would think of. Now, we have the bag which has stars on it. I think we have had this one before, but I like stars and this is quite appropriate there, so it's good. Okay, first thing. Moonrise, really de maquillante. This is very good because I need a new makeup remover. So it's a makeup remover jelly. Um, it's 99.5... Um, natural vegan formula that's perfect suited to every skin type it has camellia oil grape seed and sunflower seed extract in it and it's scented with green tea i'm gonna try a little bit on my uh, uh, and i have makeup on today so wait it feels very fresh i'm gonna have to rinse that off after but oh it smells so nice you can definitely smell the green tea I can see how this would really work. It would be a very nice way to um, do that in the shower. And I, I quite like to do that. To just remove my makeup in the shower whenever I'm having one. Usually I have my showers in the evening. So I can take everything off then. But otherwise... It's... Oh, that smell is so lovely. Oh, I'm really happy about that. It's really a good size. Uh, 100 ml. But it feels like quite a good size. So I'm very happy with that. And it makes sense to take your the day off your face before you go to bed so it's logical but well, there are two things there right first thing oh right you might find this exciting if you're from the uk but to me from being from france this is very boring it's a yves rocher perfume and it's called accord chic i don't know this perfume but i find yves rocher perfume for old people sorry sorry i just feel like and it's not, I'm not being offensive, but my granny always wears Yves Rocher perfume. And I know I've said that before when we've had some of theirs, but it, it just smells like, like a lovely granny. To me, they all smell the same. They just, I just, I don't know. I, I don't smell a dif very big difference between them. And yes, yeah, so I'm not, I'm not overly excited about this, but I can see how it would, and what's the link between that and nighttime? Do you know? I know not everything has to be linked, but yeah. Well, a bit disappointed with that, but the rest is really good, so. And last thing. Yeah. Wait. This is annoying now. <laughs> this is made for oily skin prone to imperfections. And I have put in the thing that I have dry sensitive skin, so this is really not for my type, my skin type. Last month already, I had to contact my little box, by the way, I need to update you on that. They gave me a hand cream that I had already had and um, I contacted them and they replied to me very quickly and they ended up sending me um, a little surprise, as they called it. They explained to me that this hand cream was very popular and they decided to have it again. And I shouldn't have had received the same one again, but sometimes mistakes happen, which I can totally understand. But they uh, just posted out to me um, a hair, it was an Aussie um, hair mask or something like that. Like a hair treatment or hair mask. Um, but I feel like I need to contact them again because I cannot use this. Like this would destroy my skin. I don't need to have something for oily skin prone to imperfections when I've... There's a questionnaire to fill in. And I have told them that I have dry, sensitive skin. And this is for oily skin. So anyway. Wait. So. <coughs> let's say this way. It's quite a mixed bag this month because 
All the My Little Beauty products are brilliant. I'm so happy about them. I'm so happy with the themes. But the two extra products is just... Well, this is fair enough. It's just my taste. I don't like this. But this is just not really okay to me. So I will be contacting them about this because this just doesn't really match what I've entered in the questionnaire. And I feel like two months in a row to do something, to do a mistake, is a bit much to me. It won't put me off completely. But I will update you um, on how they respond to this. But overall, I would say the rest of the box is good. So, at least there is that. Um, if you are watching this video and you would be interested in those, uh, because they are liquids, I am going to have to limit it to the UK because it's very tricky to send liquids um, out of the UK. But if you live in the UK and these are two things who you would be interested in, uh, drop me a um, message in the comments and I will pick somebody and I will send that to them. So this one is the Pure Active 3-in-1 Wash, Scrub and Mask uh, for oily skin prone to imperfections. And this is an Accor Chic uh, Secret, Secret Essence, it's an Yves Rocher perfume. So any of those, drop me a message and I will send these on to people who will use them more than I do. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Sorry if it was a bit mental today and sorry if my, red, my nose is really red. I have a cold and I keep blowing my nose and I don't want to have a massive concealer noise, no, nose. I really need to go to bed. It really is a good thing for when I'm filming this video. Anyway, I will see you next week for another video. Have a lovely week and yeah, see you then. Bye!